Counter-Strike is a simple yet complicated and complex game that takes years to master. But what if Valve wanted to completely change how we play Counter-Strike? So today we're going to go over three weapons and determine if they would be way too broken for competitive Counter-Strike. At number three, we have an automated sentry turret. I know what you're thinking. This is just like that other game that mimics Counter-Strike a lot. But an automated sentry turret has been in Counter-Strike since 2018. It just happened to be in a different game mode called Danger Zone. So what would a sentry turret look like in competitive Counter-Strike? Well, for starters, I don't think there's a way to balance this at all. The sentry turret uses the M249 as its gun model, but the damage output mimics the MAC-10. It's also very slow at tracking you when you're moving around, so there wouldn't be very many kills with this piece of utility. So how much would a sentry turret cost in competitive Counter-Strike? Personally, if they added this, I think it would cost around $3,500. But the problem with adding a sentry turret is you would be able to lock down a whole bomb site with nobody even being there. And for the T side, you would be able to watch flank while everybody else just pushed onto site. So the automated sentry turret is definitely way too broken to be added to Counter-Strike. And number two, we have a riot shield. Valve has already experimented with this piece of utility during Counter-Strike Condition Zero, which could be a big reason why nobody plays that garbage. The riot shield in Counter-Strike used to cost $2,200 and you couldn't equip a primary weapon, which resulted in you only being able to use pistols. When using the riot shield, you can block bullets from the front side, but your movement speed is a lot slower and you cannot attack, reload, or throw grenades. It also doesn't protect against grenades and explosions and the player's legs are visible when standing. So if you wanted to be fully protected by the riot shield, you would have to crouch. You can still defuse the bomb or interact with the hostage from a distance, but when you reload, it takes more time when you have the riot shield. Now what's even crazier is that the tactical shield while wearing armor made it so you took more damage from the enemy. For example, if this was in the current version of Counter-Strike, the M4A4 could one tap against riot shielded opponents. I thought this piece of utility was way too broken to be in Counter-Strike, but now I'm kind of thinking that it wouldn't be that bad. The only thing I could see being annoying is if like four people were using riot shields, creating a wall you couldn't shoot through. If they kept some of these features from the old version and put it into the new one, I don't think it would be that broken. So we're going to say it's broken, but maybe it could fit into the game. Now let's talk about an RPG being added to Counter-Strike 2. But before we get into that, let's hear from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Clash.gg. They are a fair and trusted site that allow you to play your favorite games like case battles, roulette, and more. Be sure to be over the age of 18 and gamble responsibly. You can also use my code PythonCS for an extra bonus when you deposit. So check them out with the link in the description. And number one, we have an RPG. I think the RPG is walking a fine line when it comes to being broken and balanced. The fact you can take out multiple enemies with just one blast of an RPG makes this weapon disgustingly broken. But I think there's a way to actually balance an RPG into Counter-Strike 2. First thing that needs to happen is that the RPG needs to be really expensive. I'm thinking it should cost around $6,000 and honestly, you're only buying this thing once or twice every game. With that being said, the concept of the RPG doesn't really fit into Counter-Strike, but what if they balanced it even more? According to the Counter-Strike wiki, the RPG would take up the grenade slots in your inventory, meaning you had to choose between utility or a grenade launcher. Now the concept of a grenade launcher is completely broken, but if this was to be added to Counter-Strike 2, I think having the option to choose between full utility and an RPG would not be that broken. You of course would only get one shot, and if you didn't die in the round, you could purchase more bullets for the next round. Now one more important thing, all the concepts mentioned in this video do not fit into the game at all, but even some pros have suggested that they add an RPG into the game, and I can respect the other side of the community that wants to keep the game exactly the same. It's been proven to work over the past couple decades, and honestly, it's what makes Counter-Strike Counter-Strike. If they added RPGs or sentry turrets or riot shields, the game would lose its core identity. But before you comment, just understand that this is just a fun little video that I made, and I hope you have a great day.